What's up guys, it's your boy Ben Lean. This is another episode of App Radar and we're gonna be talking about the biggest hype here in the world famous Venice Beach in Southern California, Bird and Lime. So here's my take on mobility and just the sort of hype and craze in general. I don't think cars and big brands are gonna be that important in the future because I just don't see how a BMW or Ford are gonna be able to keep up with services like Uber, Lime, or Bird. I just don't see it. Bird is less than a year old. They start a couple months in Santa Monica and Venice. It's $1 for initiating it and then it's 15 cents each minute thereafter. A couple months after they launch in Santa Monica, they take over West Hollywood, can't really go more than a mile without seeing it. Lime bike, also less than one year old. Pricing model is pretty much exactly the same, founded in San Mateo, California. So the biggest criticisms obviously have been that people have been leaving it everywhere, it's a nuisance to the city, neighbors are complaining. I personally love the disruption. I think it's brilliant. In terms of the social community value that they're adding, this is the best part. Bird is apparently paying five to twenty dollars per charger who charges a bird. You basically find it on your map, which is like a scavenger hunt. It's like Pokemon on steroids. And the charger for Lime, they can make up to $150 a day. Also, from an ROI standpoint, I think it's really fascinating because other mobility companies, your favorite rideshare apps, whether it's Uber, Lyft, Via, they're burning a lot of money until they can turn a profit. These little scooters are pretty cheap, you know, maybe two, $300. The battery and the technology obviously is is something that's gonna be very, very important, especially for hackers out there. They're gonna definitely try to hack this. Okay, so let's talk about the investment. Lime starts in 2017. They are on their Series C round. They've raised over $350 million to date, bringing it over to $2 billion in valuation from money from Google Ventures to Andreessen Horowitz, some of the biggest players in the game in Silicon Valley. So Bird also started in 2017 by former Uber and Lyft executive. Started with $3 million in seed capital, raised over $400 million to date, over $2.5 billion in valuation. And I personally am going for this one because I'm a native engineer. Angelino, love to support my LA-based startups, born and bred in Venice Beach, California. So what makes these companies so much more powerful than let's say Uber or Lyft? Well, the amount of money they're able to raise all this capital in such a short period of time is almost unprecedented. It's never happened. They can put out any fire they want. You have to reward entrepreneurialism in that respect because it's just badass. They're not asking for permission. They're starting a company, they're disrupting, they're better for the environment. I love it. We're gonna go check these apps out and see what all the fuss is about. First things first, we gotta download the app. So we've got the Bird app in the App Store, Google Play. We've got the Lime app in the App Store, Google Play. Once we do that, it's gonna ask for some personal information. Obviously, credit card, that's how they make that money. In Bird, you gotta put in your driver's license. You gotta have helmets, you gotta ride safe, most of which nobody really does. Once we have the app downloaded, we scan a QR code. The QR code initiates the engine. Once it's started up, it prompts us if the scooter is available. Assuming it is, we're riding around town riding around the boardwalk. Let's see who is a better scooter in the streets of LA in Santa Monica and Venice. Cool, looks like we found one. So let's download the app. Let's go initiate and start our first ride. This is what our interface looks like. As you can see, it pretty much looks like Google Maps. Let's unlock, but we gotta talk about the money. I found out that the driver's license integration works and it doesn't work. FYI, I'm not saying to break the law, but should you want to experience a bird and you didn't have your ID, let's say, borrow friends, as long as it's valid, it's gonna work. I am certifying that I am 18 years or older. A lot of people are not, which is something we've noticed. The animations are pretty cool, so I gotta give them credit for that. All right, so we've gone through onboarding. We are gonna be working in the bike lane. We've got no helmet though, so hopefully we don't see any SMPD or Venice PD or LAPD. Let's get this party started. So far, pretty smooth experience. They do go pretty fast and they are super, super fun. Hella fun, actually. I can continue the ride and I can keep the same bird locked or I'm gonna end it. So I'm gonna end it now and our first 
preferred ride is officially over. Let's give it a rating. I didn't have any issues, so I'm gonna give it a five stars for this ride. What happens if LAPD cites me for not wearing a helmet? So let's see, let's check in what happens in a little bit. Have you tried the scooter before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think about it? Fun. Would you ever replace your skateboard instead of the bird? No, I just use the bird just to get around. How do you uh, get through the driver's license verification? No issues with cops or nothing? Well, one time, cops said that we weren't allowed to, and me and my friend said we, we would it, and that we would walk home, and then from there, I haven't gotten stopped. Interesting. How old are you? 13. No helmet? So you're putting your skateboard here, too? Yeah, I just put my skateboard here. Yeah. And how fast do they go? Like 14. 14, 15 miles per hour? Yeah. And are there different models? Yeah, there are. That's the newest one? That's the newest one? I don't like these ones. You don't like these ones? Because they're like, like these ones, like you can drift. Okay. Fun, like, like that. And then those ones, like it's a stop, so you can't really like drift, you know? What's your name? Mariana. Mariana. I'm Ben. Where are you from, Mariana? Mexico. They do not have this in Mexico yet, right? No, not that I know. Do you feel like this can scale to everywhere in the world? Like, do you think this can work in Mexico? Oh, yeah. For sure? The tires are perfect. How did you get around the driver's license? Do you have a California ID? I do have a California ID okay. and my driver's license is from California. Got it. So I don't know how people from different places will do it. So if you had to give it a five stars in the app store, how much would you give it? I think five. You give it five stars? Fair, yeah. Any issues at all so far? You know what? Yes. Why the battery has to run now? So I realized that in the morning that we got here, it was easier to find a scooter. And now in the afternoon, all the scooters are like done. Why do you think people are going for the bird and not the live? I like it better, I don't know, but at the end it's the same thing and you're gonna get whatever is available. Alright, so we found our Lime. Let's see what the user experience and onboarding's like. Before I get my Lime going, let's check back in with messaging and support from Bird. I haven't heard back from them, so I sent my message 28 minutes ago. Still no answer. Alright, so right off the bat, I actually really like this. Oh, that's pretty cool. So I don't think Bird had that, where you can request a helmet. Enable camera access. I need to enable that. So same thing, QR code. Seems pretty straightforward. Do you like that animation? I think we're ready to rock. All right, now I want to hit up Lime Support and see just how good they are to their consumers. Where is a helmet in Venice? We're going to end the ride. You know, very similar design. The remaining range is also something that Bird didn't have. I do want to give it five stars. Love how much I saved in terms of carbon footprint with the environment. So I do love how they're tying it back to that. So definitely a lot less than Bird. Have you tried the Bird app and the Lime app? Uh -huh. Which one do you like better? This one. Tell me, I'd love to learn why. Because you don't have to scan your what's that? Driver's license? license yeah. Oh, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Taiwan. Taiwan, okay. And do they have this in Taiwan? No, of course not. We have something like uh, real scooters. Real scooters. If you had to give it five stars in the app store, what would you give it? I guess 4.5. 4.5? Have you been riding this in the right street or on the sidewalk? Both. Both? So it's apparently illegal to ride in the sidewalk, but everyone, yeah. everyone's right. doing it. Yeah. <laughs> so have you ridden both scooters? No. Just a lime? Yes. What do you think so far? I mean, it's great. Young man, what do you think about the lime? It's good. You like it? Yeah. You've been going pretty fast? And what do you think about the app difference between Bird and the Lime? Like, what do you think of just the quality of the two apps? Uh, Lime was more straightforward, I feel. I mean, it kind of got me where I wanted to go. Bird asked a little bit more questions, and like a lot, Lime was just straightforward. And if you had to give it five stars, how much would you give the Lime? Two out of five. Five? I would give it five. Five? If you had to give Bird five stars in the App Store out of five, how much would you give it? Well, I would probably give that one a three. Give it a three? Yeah. Okay, so we've had a fun day of riding around our scooters and we're gonna do a wrap up. The app rater scale of Lime and Bird. Let's go for price and customer satisfaction. I'm gonna give them both a five out of five, considering it's $1 to start, 15 cents per additional minute, giving them both a five out of five. On the customer service side, I'm gonna give Lime a four out of five. They already responded to my inquiry about helmets. They use Zendesk. I know that tool, it's a good one. Bird, 
I'm gonna give it two. Even though they've got this really cool in-app messaging interface, I've sent two messages and I haven't gotten any response in over an hour and a half. Not so cool, Bert. Get on top of your shit and talk to your customers. Usability and design. I am going to give Lime a four out of five. I really like the fact that it's much easier onboarding than Bird. The design is pretty slick. I just resonated with it better. The energy saving aspects, the certain features, how many calories you burn. I liked it a lot. In terms of Bird, I'm gonna give it a three and a half out of five. Onboarding's much longer. Some of the color scheme felt kind of distracting. I did find that it was well designed, but usability could be significantly improved with the Bird app. In terms of scalability, so can this work in other markets? The answer is yes. So I'm gonna give them both a five out of five. We heard from people from Taiwan, Mexico, other parts of the world, all over Los Angeles saying they would like to see this anywhere and everywhere, regardless of regulation or what the city has to say. So five out of five, both for Lime and for Bird with that aspect. All right, so in terms of privacy and data, five being something very, very, very secure and something that I feel comfortable with and something normal when asking for authentication and user information, I'm gonna give Bird a two out of five. The reason is they were asking a lot of personal data about me. I get it, they need to know I'm you know, a California citizen or I have a driver's license, but still, they're tracking my ass way too much. So I'm giving you a two out of five, Bird, all right, you hear me? In terms of Lime, I'm giving you a 3.5. You didn't ask for my driver's license, you gave me an option to log into Facebook, which always is nice if you don't have to create a new account. For that reason, I'm making you the winner on privacy and data, Lime. All right, guys, there you have it. This is Ben Lee. This has been App Raiders. I am making Lime the official winner. You have spoken to the people. You've heard from me. I feel more comfortable with this product right now, so I'm gonna go with that. This is Ben Lee. Catch us next time on App Raiders. Bird Lime safely out there. Mm -hmm.